hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our card ai okay for the card ai first of all we need the character and the animations so i have added this folder for you guys in which the animation and character and also the animator controller is already set up okay so you don't have to download the character or the animation but of course if you want to use some other character then you are feel free to use that character and you can then download animations for that character as well and the last thing is which I'm gonna mention is that all these animations and the character is from the Miximo.com website alright I don't own them so you can go ahead and free download it from there if you want alright but the reason I've created this folder is to save our time okay because we don't uh, now have to go ahead and open up the website download the character and then search for each of the animations one by one okay we can just simply use all of the animations and character from this folder so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get back right here in the game folder I'm gonna create another folder by the name of AI and in this AI create another folder actually we don't have to create another folder but now we did so let's name this one as crowd okay in this one we're gonna add our crowd characters and animations but for now leave this as it is and drag and drop this folder now in there I'm gonna drag and drop it in here now it is imported if you select the character click on its materials click on extract texture just leave the exact path which is this card folder and simply click on select then click on fix now and you will notice that the materials and everything are fixed okay if I try and drop the card right here here it is alright this is the card character and if you check the rig of it it is generic and also for the animations we will be setting it to humanoid but first of all let's resize it so I'm gonna set it to 1.3 okay it is really big so I'm gonna set it to 1.25 Let's just make it 1.23 or just 20. But it will then get really smaller, so 1.22. So I think 1.22. 25 will be a good value for it all right now select the character change it to humanoid then for the avatar definition select create from this model that's it click apply now for the animations right here select the first one which is falling death change it to humanoid and then copy from other avatar in this one select the hitman avatar okay because this animation is uh, was from the hitman but as you can see it didn't work so change it to humanoid again and then select create from this model click apply and when you do that then drag and drop the character in there all right there it is but it doesn't look good so I'm gonna click on copy from other avatar and select this character avatar if I show you what this character avatar name it it is characters one so in here select character character one okay here it is click apply and when you do that now as you can see the following animation is A little bit set up you can change it to original and peg into pose so that the character stop rotating okay you just have to select this peg into pose checkbox that is all you have to do 
Then for the second animation which is pistol idle, click on its rig, change it to humanoid, copy from other avatar and in this one select the character avatar. Click apply, let's check animation, here it is. Alright, you can change it to original, begin to pose, begin to pose, then original, begin to pose. Alright, now the third one is the pistol run. In the pistol run, we're gonna do the same. Okay, just follow the exact same steps as we did for the pistol idle. Alright, now, as you can see, this uh, animation, these two animation name is Hitman, because I have taken these two animation for the guard from the Hitman, okay, so for these, we're going to change it to Humanoid and copy from other avatar, and in this, we're going to select the Hitman avatar instead of the character avatar. And when you do that, as you can see, the character looks good. Okay, this is just the walking and idle animation. And just make sure that these two animation is loop time, loop pose, original, begin to pose, begin to pose, begin to pose, and original. The same for the other one. Alright, then the pistol run, make sure it is loop time, loop pose as well. And the pistol idle as well. That's it. And now if we check the animator, here it is. As you can see, all of the transitions and everything are set up correctly and the parameters name. So make sure that you create these four parameters, walk, run, shoot, die, all of them are boolean and then you set all of the transition in the same way as i did right here okay in this pistol rider right here the animation is missing so let's add the animations let me open up all of them select the idle okay this is just the idle which is this one so in this make sure that you add that then we have the pistol idle so in the pistol idle make sure that you drag and drop the pistol idle then this one is the pistol run so drag and drop the pistol run motion in there then for the death Drag and drop the death and walk with briefcase. In this, it select the animation from the uh, Hitman character animations. We don't want that, so in this one, we're gonna add this one, which is walk with briefcase. All right, and now as you can see, all of the animations are added successfully. You can rewatch this video in order to understand it more correctly. And if you have any question, make sure that you ask me. And now, with our animations and guard character added, in the next video, we're going to start working on our guard AI.